Hello and welcome back to Women's Football Talk, the YouTube channel that brings you all the latest news and stories and welcome to day three of our Euro 2022 team preview and today it is Austria. Now. Austria, they're a team that surprised many at the last Euros back in 2017, uh, reaching the semi-finals and still remain a difficult opposition for any team. They come into this tournament hoping for more of the same with coach Irene Furman who has helped the team develop even further. She is the first female Austrian coach to receive a UEFA Pro license. Furman allows her players to be flexible and play in a way that is um, very unpredictable for how you would expect them to line up with changing game to game which can obviously help in an attacking sense um, as well going forward as well as um, the way she will line up defensively with this Austrian team so it's something to keep an eye out on as they are slowly progressing into becoming um, a better side in Europe obviously they're not amongst the European elites just yet the likes of Germany, Spain, Netherlands, England but they are slowly under Furman uh, in the progression of becoming said uh, top team and I think their unpredictability uh, in this tournament could be one of the shock factors to the other teams in their group obviously being England, uh, Norway and Northern Ireland and I think it has the potential to cause one or two upsets and it could even help in their factor in progressing through to the knockout stages of this tournament so it will be very very um, interesting to see what they could do potentially surprising and remember this is only going to be Austria's second major tournament obviously back in 2017 reaching their very first uh, European Championship so they are new to this stage in playing the, the European finals but uh, in terms of qualifying uh, for the World Cup and the European Championships themselves obviously they get acquainted to these teams and this type of atmosphere but obviously it becomes down to performing on the big stages on the big day and can they have players to do that. Now obviously we've got some of the experienced players so like goalkeeper Manuela Zinsberger, Laura Feiersinger, Sarah Zadrozil, Verena uh, Alshawa. Um, so they are definitely players to uh, keep an eye out on and will help with the younger players coming through into uh, this team. Uh, a key player for me, if we look at it, is obviously Nicole Biller, a top striker, um, was named Austria's Player of the Year last year after scoring 23 goals for Hoffenheim in the Bundesliga. So she will most likely be the goal threat going forward for uh, the Austrian side. Uh, and I would expect them to lean heavily on her going forward and being the main goal threat. I mean, another young player who's starting to uh, show her worth is uh, our Arsenal's Laura Wienreuter, who obviously joined this past uh, season uh, to the North London side and has slowly started to embed her way into Jonas Eidfeld's side. So, uh, and obviously this Austrian national team, so I'm expecting a very good tournament from her defensively. But again, it, they do have the hard task of defending England and the Norwegian threats and obviously Northern Ireland as well. But I wouldn't be too surprised if they have the potential to go out there and potentially bring that shock factor. I'm not saying I'm expecting Austria to go all the way and win the tournament, but hey, you never know, a quarter finalist or another semi-final um, tournament it, it's not too far out of the question so it'll be very interesting to see what the Austrians can do in this tournament and how well they play uh, throughout this tournament and will the unpredictability of them come as a surprise to the rest of the teams in that group right we'll be back tomorrow with our final group a preview which will obviously be Northern Ireland uh, make sure you like and subscribe with post notifications turned on and following us on social media as well so you never miss out on a video of ours and until next time we'll see you soon.